Hey, I want to play for you this short clip, you know, with all the news this week about Tucker Carlson. Uh, I thought this was really interesting. He he put out a little two minute video. I'm going to play about one minute of that uh, just yesterday in responding. And he asked some pretty important um, philosophical questions that, you know, obviously he's going to be doing something else. We don't have any idea what that's going to be yet. But but listen to this from Tucker Carlson, because it's in line with what we've been telling you here. Both political parties and their donors have reached consensus on what benefits them, and they actively collude to shut down any conversation about it. Suddenly, the United no, we don't have a lot of shutdown in this state, but we do have both. We do have a Republican Party that's afraid to rock the boat too much. They basically think the best way to get along is Democrat light. All right, that's true in this state. Nobody really has the courage. No candidate, no party leader that I've seen has the courage to stand up and say the things that need to be said. Let's go on. The United States looks very much like a one-party state. That's a depressing realization, but it's not permanent. Our current orthodoxies won't last. They're brain dead. They're a fad. They're politically correct. They're fashionable. But they're not based on science. They're not based in reality. And like I said, it's only brain dead indoctrinated, gullible people who believe this stuff. Nobody actually believes them. Hardly anyone's life is improved by them. This moment is too inherently ridiculous to continue, and so it won't. The people in charge know this. That's why they're hysterical and aggressive. They're afraid. Right. Have you noticed how the liberal left, the transgender radicals, are really lashing out violently, verbally, they are panicked right now because they know that the the, the 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 light of truth is shining on their their myths on their false narratives as tucker mentions they've given up persuasion they're resorting to force but it won't work when honest people say what's true calmly and without embarrassment they become powerful at the same time the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink and they become weaker that's the iron law of the universe. And this is the challenge that I, ha we, I have been putting forth to you that we've tried to follow in this, this show. We tell you the truth. As politically incorrect as it may seem, you hear the truth on this show. Calmly, sometimes we get a little emotional about it, but never hysterical about it. Calmly, we put it forth for you to consider, and we ask you to go out, to stand up for it in every aspect of your life. You, we cannot accept the, these destructive falsehoods, these false narratives that are going on in our society. So you don't have to be rude, as Tucker said, calmly, methodically, but consistently stand up to those who want to try to say things that you know are not true. You know men cannot become pregnant. You know men cannot be become women. We know that climate change is not an existential threat to our planet, that people are not going to be flooded out of their homes and drown or incinerated uh, it's just not going to happen. But yet these myths perpetuate. We know that America was not inherently a racist country and, and that our history is about oppressors over the oppressed. America's history is one of freedom and the pursuit of liberty. Imperfect as it may be, we all know that, okay? I, I shouldn't even have to say that, but I will. That's the truth.